Oh, it has been an absolute disaster here this past week. Like last Wednesday, everybody in the house got sick. It was phenomenal. And then around Monday, you know, you start feeling good enough to go back to work, uh, back to the to the grind. And then Thursday, my, my daughter went full straight exorcist puke everywhere mode. And it was... It wasn't very fun. Nobody ever tells you that when you when you have kids. Nobody's ever like, congratulations, you'll never be healthy again. But you know, in between spouts of uncontrolled, uncontained, explosive diarrhea, I have been trying to figure out how we can move to season six of the Fan Showdown, our static pressure focused season. And I, I think I got I think I got an idea. A better one than last time. Today's video is brought to you by World of Tanks. World of Tanks is a free-to-play armored warfare multiplayer online game with over 100 million players you can battle and interact with from all around the globe. World of Tanks features a huge arsenal with over 800 tanks ranging from light to medium to heavy tanks and even tank destroyers with their own unique strengths and weaknesses. Regardless of how you like to play, there's a tank for you. Hang back and snipe or hold down the W button and just charge the enemy and everywhere in between. World of Tanks features over 40 battle arenas which range from open fields to steep hills to dense forests. That doesn't sound good to you? How about a, a desert arena where you can rip across the dunes ducking and dodging incoming fire or crawl through an urban or industrial zone where danger could literally lurk around every corner. If you can think it, it probably exists in World of Tanks. And the tanks draw on historical accuracies and inspiration to create authentic model and vehicle characteristics that make you feel like you're commanding an actual tank with, without actually owning one because you can't. So this is good as it gets. So if you want to rip across terra firma and a steel monster upgraded and modified to your liking, click the link in the description below and download World of Tanks today. But before you go, make sure to use the code COMBAT to get seven days premium access, 250,000 credits, and the premium tank Chrome Wall B. Oh, you also get three rental tanks, good for 10 battles each. Or if you're a returning player who hasn't played in 30 days or more, you can get three days of premium access, the Camouflage Bargain, and seven days rental of the premium tank Centurion, or 100,000 credits if you already have that tank. So get down there and click the link to get your free rewards and jump into World of Tanks today. If you watched my last video on our attempts to move to season six, you know that I created what I, I called a static pressure machine. Uh, the idea was fan mounted on one side of a tunnel would push air through the tunnel, hit a little flappy door. The flappy door would be deflected by however much force the fan could impart on the door. And then we could see how far it deflected using a little sight gauge on top. And that was the idea, kinda, but it wasn't perfect. A lot of you guys pointed out Pretty much most of you guys point out that the problem with that setup is it's not really linear as the door is swung open it's going to take more and more force to push it upwards also when the door is perpendicular to the airflow it's going to be really easy to transfer energy into it but as it moves more parallel to the airflow yeah not so much and based on the granularity or like the resolution of the little scale i made it was going to be really hard to tell which fan was actually doing the best and what we would have probably ended up with was a bunch of fans kind of in the middle and us trying to guess at which one was the best so i scrapped that idea and instead of trying to reinvent the wheel i just i just went and bought the wheel this is the fluke 922 and this is a manometer it's also an airflow meter but we're not using it for that we're using it for its manometer -ness. reason i chose this one was uh based on the research i did this seems like it has a low enough floor that we're actually going to be able to read the static pressure of something like a pc fan uh, pc fans don't make a lot of static pressure. I think the product specs for the A12X25 state that it can produce 2.34 millimeters of water, and that's it's not a lot. So we need to be able to read that. Now this also does have the units millimeters of H2O. So I'm hoping it'll do the job. So let me tell you how the setup's gonna work. Now make sure you pay attention because like last time, uh, I'll be reading through the comments to see if I missed anything or if there's any changes that need to be made. But essentially, we're gonna be using the same wind tunnel but we're only gonna use half it this time. We gotta modify the wind tunnel to be used with the manometer. On this side of it, I have drilled a small hole. The idea is the, the hole is just slightly smaller than this rubber tube, which will make the seal around the tube very nice, but not be so tight that it kind of constricts the, the orifice here. But in order for this to work for static pressure, it needs to be enclosed. Now, static pressure is just how much force the air can exert on its surroundings in a static state, it's not flowing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna block off this, the end of this tube. To block it off, I just made this simple mount. It'll stick on the bottom. 
And that will also help me because it makes the, the setup, the, the test bench vertical, which will make it very easy to swap out different fan designs. Also, you guys like to come up with some crazy tall stuff and no matter how tall you go, and even if you want to extend a little bit inside of the wind tunnel, it should be good to go. And I guess we'll test the A12 X25 first to see if we can hit that magical specified numbers. I don't know what the resolution on this is. Hopefully it's at least to the first decimal. And if we get like 2.3, 2.4, 2.2, that'll be a win. Well, it looks like we only got one decimal point. So 2.3 is ideal. 2.2, 2.4, both okay. Well, we're getting pressure, so that's a good start. Two, 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 three. Wow, that worked out really well. <laughs> Let's turn it off and uh, back on just to make sure that it's repeatable. I didn't even put the wing nuts on this. I just figured that gravity would be good enough. It seems like it is, as long as it repeats. So we're back on, fans back on. Hopefully we stop right at 2.3. Right on the money, nice, okay. That's actually really good. Well, since that looks like it's gonna work actually perfectly, I have the top four fans from season five plus the A12X25. We're gonna run all of them and see if they finish kind of like they did in season five. So if you don't remember from first to fourth place, it was Dragon Wing, Devil, Angel, and Gear Ratio. In season five, the A12X25 was actually in third place. The Dragon Wing and Devil were both over it. Now I did notice that on the test, Set up for the fan, we have that gasket. So I did put that on the A12X25. We'll rerun that one just to see if it gives it any boost to performance. But right now we're shooting for over 2.3. We'll start with the top dog of season five. Oh boy. Three? Oh man, 2.9. That's, that's still pretty good. I don't know what good is, but it's the best so far. Just do a sanity check, make sure it repeats. Wow. All right, 2.9 is a new three? Excuse me? No, 2.9. Is that what we're gonna level out at? Yeah, 2.9. Now we got the devil up there. Wow, 3.1. Here is the Angel, third place of season five, 2.8. So far, everybody's been doing better than the A12X25, but remember, they have the, the little gasket, anti-vibration pad that comes with the A12X25, so maybe that'll boost it up a whole bunch. And fourth place, the gear ratio. Is this one also going to beat the A12X25? Uh, yeah. Wow, 3.1, 3.2. Excuse me, it feels broken. I guess it's broken, you guys will tell me. 3.2, what? Okay, let's test the A12X25 with the same anti-vibration gasket type thing that it's got. 2.4, I mean, it is better, but it's nowhere near like the other stuff. That seems sus, but it is what it is. So after retesting the top four fans against the A12X25, they are now finishing Gear Ratio, Devil, Dragon Wing, and Angel. And the Noctua A12X25 is currently in fifth place, which is last. Now on the surface, that seems, that seems strange that every one of these fans did better in our static pressure testing than the A12X25, a fan known for static pressure. Now these are the top four of season five and we were pushing air through a radiator and measuring airflow so maybe they they are that good maybe there's something i'm missing in my setup but i can put this fan on here 150 million times and it will always come in at 2.4 with this bottom gasket on it 2.3 without it which is spot on for what the spec said it should be but like the gear ratio 3.2 I don't know what the upper limit is. That might actually not be a lot. It might actually be unobtainable for anybody else, but there is my proposal for season six of the Fan Showdown. This is gonna be our static pressure testing test bench. 
unless you convince me that it's very wrong in some way or another. So if you designed a fan specifically for airflow or anything else in the past, it's a new season. You can send in brand new designs or you can tweak old designs and focus now on static pressure in whatever way you see fit. Make sure to look in the description below because I'll leave links to where you can find reference models and information on making sure your fan fits inside the A12X25 X25 frame. And then make sure to send me at least a .stp, a step model, or a .stl model to the fan showdown at gmail.com and we will try, well, not to beat the A12X. Where's the T30? Before we leave, let's, let's try the T30 thing on here. That one is just way better. Okay, T30, it is in advanced mode. That's 3000 RPM. If this doesn't beat uh, the gear ratio, we, we are living in a simulation. This thing has to do better. It has to. If it doesn't, everything, everything I know is a lie. Wow. Wow. <laughs> All right, we're at 5.96, 6, 6.1, Will it ever stop? 6.7. Okay, the, that, that one's good, but that one, that one's way better. 6.8, that's okay. Well, it is running at 3,000 RPMs. That's a bit, it's a bit cheaty compared to everybody else. 6.8 looks like where it's gonna level off at. 6.9, it might continue for days. 6.9 seems to be it. Well, what does it do at 2,000? I'm just, now I'm just curious. I assume it'll beat the gear ratio, and if it does, it'll be our new target. What? Are we really not going to? It doesn't have this special bottom thing on it, but it's only at three. 3.1. The gear ratio is actually a god. 3.2, we tied it. I can't even put that special gasket thing on it because it doesn't have the holes. 3.2, it tied it when it's at 2,000 RPMs. When it's at the 3,000 RPMs, it goes to the moon. But either way, there you go. It, this thing can at least read up to seven but can you make a fan that goes on the A12X25 frame that can get above a 3.2?